guess that's dark. So, you know, my, my question is, that I want to, to... You want to go down the gun control? I wasn't going down the gun control. Oh, well, yeah, no, yeah. no, no. Let's I want to know. Let's all, let's all pack heat, stand at the corner. <laughs> See, we wasn't, we wasn't getting into that. My thing is, okay, for one, you guys out there, do you feel, do you still feel that white supremacy and hate groups, um, are they still a legitimate threat? <laughs> and is that threat being reasonably hey. said, hey, how's it going? Is you can that chime being, in. We're yeah, recording this, this is for the after show. And is that threat being assessed and counteracted by government and law enforcement uh, within reason? You know, because I mean, we talk about a lot about gun control, Mr. Anti-Gun Control. But, you know, you still have control. beatings, you still have arson, you still have vandalism, you still have bombings and harassment. This doesn't apply to that. So, you know, if, you know, the government, you know, can't really keep all the sheeple, Feeling protected, you know. <laughs> I went there. Oh my God, <laughs> you know. Then uh, who's pretty much gonna gonna stand up and and uh, you know make a <laughs> make a stand or put things in place for their own safety? You know. Yes, we all need to walk around. Not here we go again. Packing this heat. guy is so uh, just about and, and, packing. Yeah, heat. and 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 the slightest <laughs> thing, you know, the dude looked at me the wrong way and bam, just. What's the no, cap that, that, that's, that's, right? But that's not the reason listen, why you In care. Florida, they have stand your ground laws, and which, which a guy stabbed another dude to death <coughs> because he stole his his uh, his radio player. In a that's car. not that that it, did he get off? No, he didn't get. He got off. Yeah. No, I don't believe that. I'm going you, you show me that case because I don't yes, think that's true. Stand your ground no, laws. No, stand your ground is, is is for when. Yeah, stand you, your ground because when you feel threatened, that's what we're talking. about. Protecting yourself. Yeah, but not protecting property. That is specific. It is about life and basically your health. If it's threatened, if your health is threatened, or your life is threatened, or the life of your family. Um, and I guess probably pretty much anybody that's on your property. Life, property, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> yeah, but not the pursuit of property. So you gonna steal my CD player? No, I'm gonna let you walk. Well, I'm not gonna go and stab you 25 times. That's ridiculous. The property makes me happy. And right? even still, this had nothing to do with guns. It does. The guy got stabbed up. So that's I mean, the, point. the other guy got. No, Trayvon the, Martin got. No, but the, the, it's, it's the concept and that if people are going to do something wrong, they can do it with a gun, they can do it with a knife, they can do it with other things. The thing about <laughs> guns that you keep dragging me back to, you know, if you want to really look at the realistic perspective of guns, is to put people on an even ground in terms of defending themselves. So you want an even ground with somebody that will never give you the even ground because he'll always break the law. <coughs> Good what? point. Good point. No, this, no, 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 no. I don't even get what you said. Say that again. He said, so you're going to look for Slow even. Slow down. Use the smaller words. <laughs> so, so, so you're going to look for the even ground with someone who will never give you the even ground because they'll never follow the law. Right, but at this point, it's not about that. At the point where you're defending yourself, the law's already broken. Now, no, by, not by you. No, by, by him. him. Just because right, he breaks the law doesn't give you the right to break the law. But so you're still following the law. You'll never be even with him. But this is, well, no, no. I mean, in terms of being able to you, 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 you could be, you could be. But the, the point is, I'm you'll never really, standpoint. you'll never really find that even ground with them. <coughs> Whether we give you more, I mean, unless we let, you know, everybody care just whatever they feel like, uh -huh. you're never going to 100% know that you're going to be even with them. It's not, it's well, not, it's not the point. It's that, the problem, that, I mean, the problem is not the gun control. The problem is that it's just, like, it's like this the, the problem is the misuse of guns. No, That's what the, the whole thing is the about. encouragement that I can go and I can, if I go and I buy 50 packs of 50 bags of fertilizer, okay. some red flag somewhere is going to go up okay. that I'm, and I'm building a bomb. It not, that's not necessarily true. Right. However, a flag does go up. Okay. But if I go and I buy a thousand rounds. Okay. okay. No flag goes up. That's not true. No, it doesn't. It, it is. The dude in Colorado bought all that ammo. No one knew about it. Yeah, I bought a lot of ammo at one point in time, and I got a knock on the door. So okay. there was well, a flag. Flags go up at certain points. Now the question is, are they going to investigate it or not, or are they going to drop you, the ball? You, is the government going to drop the ball? And they're not going to do anything, and then you do have a crazy nut that winds up going and tries to shoot up a place. Are you on the ATF list? No, I'm not on the ATF list. <laughs> Maybe I am. I don't know. I could be on a lot of them. Maybe we should ask the FBI agents that come next to And that's fine. You, you can, that's fine. We, you can ask them. But everybody knows that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a gun enthusiast. I'm an avid shooter. 
that's my American way. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Part of America. I'm a country boy. See, the problem is, especially when you talk to people from big cities, like they don't country. understand guns. I know. I I, 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 I have a gun. I was born in the country. I mean, I was, me, I was raised in the country. Like I get all that. But I'm talking about I'm talking about a better world where we don't. Nobody needs that. See, but that's the problem. That is a theory that I don't think we can get to. We cannot eradicate guns from the entire world. We can't eradicate guns from this country. This is the difference of looking at theories of what works and what we're actually faced with. You're not going to get rid of guns in the country. I, you know, I'm not, I'm not even saying, like, completely. I'm just saying from, like, the average citizen. The average citizen. <laughs> you know, that happens a lot sometimes. Yeah, and it's, it's not even my fault. Who's calling? I don't know. It's not for us. It's not for us. Should I pick up? No. I mean, if you, I mean, I can pick up, but it's, I mean, it's probably going to be, hey, but. Because, I mean, technically, no one's here. Right. right. Okay, no, this is this is the thing, man. Okay, it's. I, I'm looking at it realistically, okay? Now, I don't think everybody on the planet needs to be toting around a gun. No, but. You, oh, sorry. This is still on after show. So, oh, let me see who's calling. Since 1775. I want to pick it up. <laughs> so, the, 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 so uh, you're gonna you're gonna have to call uh, during normal business hours, sir. Uh, just like on a Monday or a Friday. Yes, sir. Get your point out. Okay. You've been rehearsing so, this all week, guys. So, no, God, because Mookie, God, this Mookie. is the thing. Because no, everybody does not have to carry around guns, okay? But everybody needs to be aware that self-protection is important. I'm not saying guns per se. Some people rely on martial arts, who knows? But the, the thing is, is to get out of the mindset that Mr. Police Officer and Mr. FBI Agent and Mr. President is going to save me at all point in time. And then when they don't, and you have a tragic shooting, everybody's like, oh, I, I, I didn't know that this could happen. I didn't know that this could happen. Sorry, get out of your bubble. America is a great place, but America is not some ironclad box where no tragedies happen. So how is it, Far how from it. How is but it that things don't that's what I'm saying. Why don't these things happen in Canada? Things do happen even, in Canada, man. You think there's no crime in Canada? More than more than just Canada. The United States has the highest violent crime rate in the entire, yeah, the entire world. Now, what you have to understand why? is, why? Why no, 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 no. Violent crime rate, not gun crime rate, violent crime rate. There's a difference. See, and that's, yes, see, there is that's, an extreme, that's, that's a very disingenuous distinction you're making Yes, thank right you. All right, what? give it up, man. Come on, give it up. Dude, Let's go. See, I got to bring my. I got to bring my stats back out because this is no crime rate. Okay. So, so, so it's only guns that are ten percent. The rest, the other ninety percent of the violent crime. Now, I know. I know. Nunchucks and ninjas. I never. I never. I never gave it. And my no, sticks. I never gave it a percentage, but I can if you want me to. But the thing is, they brought this up on the radio. It's an extremely hard thing to even, you know, put on a graph. Because you don't know how oftentimes somebody, you know, was assaulted or was about to be marked and they just show the weapon, hey, back off of me. Uh, the assailant runs off and that's it. You put it back there, it's never and it's never very, brought up. No, I understand. You know I mean? Guns guns save lives as well as as well as take lives. Right. Or guns save lives in the midst of taking lives. Like I definitely understand that. But putting those guns in the hands of average citizens with with little to no training because you can just, it's an open carry See, state. Now we're back open, to that. Because it's an open carry state. And we agreed last time that there is there is no pro I have no problem with there being more mandates for for you know tr training you know to be able to carry. I, I personally don't agree that I can sit in a four and this is exactly what happens in Virginia. So you sit in a four hour class. You have a, a old law enforcement officer, or maybe a current law enforcement officer, that tells you uh, basically all these things about How carrying and safety. Feel? And after that, you pay sixty dollars. You go down to the court. You wait forty days, and you get a permit that says I can carry a nine millimeter on my or, or whatever you want right. on your hip right. at any time. That I don't agree with. I mean, some people can have a permit, never have shot a gun. That I don't agree with. No, no, no. How would you? How would anyone like it if the law enforcement officers on the street? Because they only get six. They get six, only get six months training as is. And people say that's not enough. And no one likes the fact that you can get a, a concealed weapons permit, anything like that, in in a matter of a week. Right. No, well, you can, oh, you, you, or you can buy a gun in a matter of, a, of, a, of an hour or two. People say that's that's too long. I've got a gun in 15 minutes. Exactly. So right. something needs to change. <laughs> but uh, and you can sell it to me, and no one will know. No one will know. There's no handgun. There's no gun register in Virginia. There is. 
I right. can sell whatever I want to anybody. Right. Nobody will know. That's true. But now, but see, this I'm is... I'm going to sell you my car. i got to register. But, but, now, but now, but now, but now, let me ask you this, though, <coughs> which, of course, you know, <coughs> the, uh, the Democrats have tried to push, okay? Now, this is the thing. If, say, all the guns are registered, right? Off? Yeah, yeah we're sure. all the guns are registered. We're getting phone right? calls. All right, check this out. All the guns are registered, right? Yeah. And then the government decides to say, you know what? Hey, we need to go and confiscate everybody's guns. You know, this, this, and that happens. Now, what if they, you know, they just come barging in your house and they say, you know what? Something happened in this city. We need to take everybody's guns. We're just gonna go knocking, busting down doors. Hey, we know you have one, two, three, four, five. Give me your guns, and you know, like what? You don't even know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. Honestly, you know, as long as they commentate for my guns, I'd get over it. <laughs> And I knew that, see, and I knew they were doing that across the board. Well, gun, when guns are not gold. Gun, gun is, guns are not a, 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 an equivalent of when, money. They when, can be, but that's not the purpose of them. When have they come, come in, in mass? With some dollars. When have they come in mass and decided that something is not good for you and taken it away? Katrina. Uh, alcohol. No, that, that's, they, if you're talking about specifically with guns, that's what happened down when, when Katrina hit down in New Orleans. Well, you know what? Yeah, but you know what? You, you know what we're doing in New Orleans? That we're looting and doing... My thing, if I was in New Orleans and I was stuck in that bowl, and it's literally a bowl. It's really, honestly, a yeah, dumb place a, to it's live. A bowl it's a bowl, and you can't get out. You darn skippy. If it's me, my wife, my little six-year-old kid, and I got people looting everywhere, yeah, I want to have my AR sitting right next to me. I want to have my pistol right next to me. But you know what? And, you know what? The, yeah, you know what? People but got the police who are getting shot don't want that. The police who are getting shot don't want Man, that. Man, dude, there was videos of police going in stores and looting and raiding just like everybody else. That's a prime it's example not, of when your law and, enforcement and breaks down and is not going to do anything for you and you're on How your own. But it's oh. an extreme case. But, dude, they probably never thought that that would happen. And now it affected a lot of people, and it took a lot of rebuilding. And a lot of people died, whether it was by somebody else, whether it's by the hurricane itself, whether it's from drowning, whether it's from disease. It was see, that, normal. But this, no, 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 no. Let's talk about normal. But, 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 let's see, talk about something that falls this, normal this, curve. This is the problem, and this is where I say people get in the mindset of that would never happen. Preparation is preparation. You don't keep a jack in your car because you get a flat tire every two days. You keep a jack in your car because most likely you might get one flat tire every five years. It's not about the, the normal of what happens. Normal life in America is great. Right, right, you love right, it. You're, you're in the, no, I'm joking. Normal life, in, America, normal life in America is great, but the thing is a preparation for something. the worst case scenario. And the something. worst case scenario is extremely bad. And that is the reality. That's the fact of life. How often does that worst case scenario happen? Dude, you can survive. I mean, I mean you're talking about. Uh, I mean, like, yeah. You, I mean, like, yeah. We get it. Like, the government could do something. As citizens, we need to be able to overthrow her. Maybe we could get uh, tyrannical. Yeah, it's because we need about guns. We, government. Yeah, yeah. No, my, my thing no, no, is. No, you, your entire <coughs> point just then was that the cops were looting. You know, so like, even when the no, cops so were looting, I need my gun because like, even the cops are looting. Like so, like I get the fact that oh, you know, like, <laughs> but I mean that's the true fact. When you have, when you have, when you have well, wait, wait, wait. Society, I just want you, to, I just want you to tell me, is that not a true fact that Americans here living a normal life had to experience that the police officers that are charged with keeping the peace and protecting civilians were basically like screw y'all on video on YouTube that you can go look for yourself. They were like, you know what? I'm basically it's still in uniform. You know, not not, like, not that it makes it right. Not that it makes it right, but that was there we have to be quiet. But no, 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 no. Not that not that it makes it right, but you know what? I mean, but it'll explain it. Like absolute <laughs> and saying screw this because A, they've already been shot at this point. People that they're trying to save are trying to kill them. First of all, second of all, I don't think that. See, that's that's that's, no, that's that what we're, we're talking about. No, 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 we're no, talking no, about no, New Orleans no. Police Department that was corrupt, anyways. They weren't doing yeah, their jobs yeah. to begin with. Oh, yeah. now, now, now the police department is corrupt, anyway. So can I say that about Richmond cops? No. Can I say that about the right no, cops? No. Can you no. say that about New York cops, LAPD cops? Are they corrupt? And those are big cities. Those are major metropolitan. No. The, the, oh no no now, no! Now what is the difference between a little bit of, like there's an I, an isolated incident of corruption and then, complete corruption? Then complete corruption. Right. But the thing is, nobody usually you don't even know that something's corrupt until something major right. breaks down and it's like, oh crap, we didn't when, know that. When, when Rodney the, King got beat, yes, there was all that corruption. The LAPD and they came in and they changed it and all that kind of stuff. When Giuliani was mayor of New York, yeah, there was you know shooting black people and you know all that kind of stuff. But I think overall speaking. Well, generally speaking, overall speaking, no, the majority of the law enforcement branches, whatever it is, is not, is not uh, corrupt. Hey, can you verify that? It's yes. 
How? Because, not under, because, because there would be reports on it. Normally, no, 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 it's, no, no, it's, no, no, it's no, like, no, 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 the burden on proof is on you to prove that it's not. It's like the Chicago, it's like it's like Chicago not, no, mobs not, in wait. Chicago. It's like mobs in Chicago, like, you know, with, 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 with the workers and all that kind of stuff, right? There are historical cities that have a problem with corruption. New Orleans is one of them. Yeah. So we're not talking about, we're not talking about a normal police force. And we're Dude. talking about the breakdown of things, but let's go back to the point. Dude, no, the, the, no, 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 no. The Second no, Amendment. Your whole basis here is on the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is no, 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 no. I did not. I have not said anything about the Second Amendment. The Second Amendment is what's in the Constitution. At the okay, time when it, at the time when it was lawlessness around, and, and, and there, no there is still lawlessness. Is not a one hundred percent. There are no laws. You want to know the real law? The, you want to want to know the real last bit of lawlessness there is in the United States is in the wilderness of Alaska. That's it. That's yeah. the last bit. That's the, That's the third bit. high five. I'm done. You lose. And, and in Alaska, I would done. be more worried about running into a a, 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 a polar bear or a, a grizzly or a exactly. Kodiak or something. And, but you know what? They have guns up there. For that, guns are in a specific Ex exactly. a reason and a and purpose. What, what, in some places, you got to worry about the bear. In other places, you got to worry about the rapist. Other places, no, you got to worry no. about And the only reason whatever. Alaska is like that, and the only reason the Wild Wild West was like that, was because of the lack of significant <laughs> law enforcement. And, that. And, the, and, let's, and this is a chicken, this is a chicken, what came first, chicken or the egg kind of argument. It's like, oh no, we don't, it's like, we, <laughs> we need work. guns because there are guns. Like, well... What if we get rid of all the guns? No, we can't get rid of all the guns because then I won't might have my guns, and then they'll have their guns. For it's like it's like no, when you're seven no, no, years no, no, no. It's like when you're seven years old and that. you're the first person that gets their toy. Everybody has their toys out in class, uh -huh. and you're the first one to get their toy taken. No, you didn't take everybody else's. No, you're just the first <coughs> one that gets their toy taken. No, that's exactly what, what it is to me. It's like you're the first one to get your toy taken. So no, you just said you just said you have seventh grade arguments. <laughs> I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't agree because, like I said, even if you take away, you know, the constitutional, you know, amendments and all of these things, the the reality is there is no <laughs> safe haven on earth since the beginning of man. There has been violence. There has been corruption. There has been murder. There has been rape. There has been breakdowns in society. Yes. But people are entirely, and this is my opinion, not the opinions of WLEE News Talk 990 or their affiliates, or of my co-host of the community radio show, or our engineer Josh here, okay? But my <laughs> thing is, okay, people are in charge of protecting themselves. And this is why I keep going back to the in charge of protecting themselves and their family. And guns are my team. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, no, no, no. You, would you want to get in a fist fight with me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, now let me ask you. Do you know that? Do you do you know that? Honestly, you would win. No, that's what okay. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, that's what being a man. Wait, 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 wait. Do you know that? Honestly, I wouldn't kill you. No. Okay. If you knew that I could kill you, would that change your want or or, or your, your your willingness to get into a fight with me? The the. Would it change my willingness? That's, that's I mean, a yes maybe, no maybe, maybe, maybe not. I mean, oh, I don't, oh, wait, okay. It, I'm it, saying, it all depends I'm on what saying, I can kill you. I guarantee that we get in the fight. I will kill you with my bare hands. So, 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 whatever I've done in our in our non-lethal fights, you've personally decided. to What is a non-lethal fight? When you, get Plenty to, of times, when you get to a fight, your intent is not to kill someone. Yeah, your intent is to stop the aggression. And how many times have people gotten killed in a fight? Now, oh, no, no, how many times do have not gotten killed do, in a fight? Do, do I? No, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, oh, no, no, okay, no, yeah, 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 yeah. They're boy fights is, all the time. There's schoolyard fights all the time. You know, and there are fights in the hood all the time where, yeah, somebody just got waxed, they got their head busted up against concrete, and they're in the hospital, and they die two hours later. Yeah, that's, okay? that's right. But generally speaking... I mean, even... Good. I was out, you know, not too long ago when I was, uh, when I was, uh... You when I had my motorcycle. What? You need to change... No, see, the problem is I can bring up events that I've personally seen and have been engage with and I can tell you Stop for a fact in the hood. That there's not about rolling no, no, no. I'm rolling can, can in the that apparently look. is so safe and well policed that none of these problems actually occur, Mr. Sheeple. Well, You're too comfortable no, no with one yourself. Said, no, I'm a realist. That's no it. No one said Richmond was perfect. No one even said this world was perfect. I mean Richmond was even number three on, on, the, on the crime rate. Yeah, no one said that the that, that this I even mean, world this world was even perfect. But in an imperfect world, why would you have I mean something like that could just kill someone so easily. That's because if they're always gonna be there. Guns? <coughs> or, yes. or violent people. What do you mean? Both. 
Exactly. The way there's always going to be violent people so mining we these planes. We moved away, we moved away from this Because you can't get away from the weapons, so you're going to have violent people with weapons. Yeah. So why would you be an unviolent, law-abiding system with no because weapons? We're, we're, we're basically becoming... Oh, oh, I'm going to say another big word, a slave. That's okay? What, five letters? <laughs> Sheeple? No, slave. That's the other big word. The, the, the other... slave? Okay. A house slave or a field slave? Oh, Lord. Okay, you, you know what? It doesn't matter. No, you know because, what? Because in fact, you know what? You want to go based on the numbers, okay? And this is not violent. This is just a matter of control. Let's take, let's remove the violence. Let's go into control. Slavery, okay? I'm sorry, but for the amount of black people that are brought into this country, if we really knew that we could beat the crap out of every white person that was here, and honestly, no, by the numbers and the strength, let's be because, fair. We would have, but why couldn't we? Let's, no, let's be fair. You were not here. Uh, <coughs> Lemuel were not here by violence. They're here by mercantilism. Many of them were sold. Maybe they were sold to the people that came and put them on the ship right. and then brought them here. They're here because of mercantilism, not, not not wholesale because of violence. Now, see, now, now you're going back into We're not talking about that. As in we're, we're talking about, he's talking we're about, talking he's about, talking about the physical why black ability to... Why to, black people didn't, didn't uh, rise up. Right, exactly. The Indians had arms and they rose up. What the Indians, then? are you serious? The yeah. Indians had bow and arrows. Look what's happening in Syria. If you don't, Even if you don't have weapons, you can rise up. Yeah. Even even if you yeah. don't even have, have weapons, weapons yeah. look at Syria. Egypt. Look yeah. at Syria. Look at Cairo, Egypt. Yeah. What, the latest reports on Syria, mm -hmm. they're yeah. concerned because they have a lack of ammunition. They're down to a little bit of yeah. ammunition. Still, and what does that mean? Fighting. But you know what they've done? Yeah, but they what happens? Wait, 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 wait. But what happens when that runs out? They're going to continue to be crushed by whoever still has the ammunition. They're not going to say, oh, well, those guys don't have any more guns or ammunition. And what, if they, and what if they didn't have ammunition? The, the government didn't have ammunition. They'd be fist fighting in the street trying to kill each other, right? Mm, what? Like, let's say let's say the government did not have but, their guns. But I wouldn't even look at it like that. Because, like I said, I'm never going to consider the world it, it, or America to be a place without guns. That's an irregular argument. I'm looking see, at see, the they, reality. Well, see, and I mean, there you go. See, you can't change people's minds that don't want to be changed. No, 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 they're making smaller. They're like you said. They're, uh, their nuclear stockpile. I mean, that's that's the whole point. Is is so that everybody yeah, in the West. That's, that's what the UN tries to moving do. into. But that's in, not we're civilized small. people. Okay, we're you not, know what? We're not we're not tribal anymore. We're not we're not. You know, you looked at me playing. Let me chop your head off. Do this. You show me a president that's willing to walk around with not a whole bunch of armed guards, and then talk to me about that. But you know what? It's if, not going to happen because they understand that there is always going to be corruption. There is always going to be ill will people, and this is coming from a religious perspective. You have to understand that as a Muslim, I'm not going to, I'm not going to vary from the fact that you have God and you have Shaitan or Satan. In fact, so as long as you have the, religiously speaking, as long as you have the influence of Satan, there's going to be bad spirit of people. It's going to be evil people. It's going to be evil and corruption. So if that's what you believe, then there's always going to be that aspect. But, but you don't have to repel that with violence. And that just goes back to like the seven-year-old analogy I made. Like, the, the, the president, the president's like bodyguards, yeah, they wouldn't need guns if nobody had guns. That's what I'm saying. That's like, not true. There has to, yeah, it is true. They would, if nobody had guns, they wouldn't need guns. They just have, for example, they just have any other methods of violence that aren't as bad as guns, like belly clubs or, or knives. shields. Or knives. Yeah, but, but you know what? You can't do less damage. Knives do less damage. Oh, my gosh. Now, 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 this, this is what I'm talking about. There's knife weapon that you can bring into a theater and, no. and, and, and kill 20 people. people. But the guy didn't have an automatic rifle. What did he have? He had an AR-15, he had a civilian a rifle that he bought for me, either Gander Martin or what's him call it. Same rifle that a lot of Americans okay, have. Okay, then it's a single fire knife gun, whatever. Okay, but this is, okay, but we're gonna go back to your your, your comment that knives are not a, as, as devastating as, as, do some ballistics. Check out some ballistics then. and that's another misconception that people don't understand. So you're you know, still, wait, 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 like, and you know, no, 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 now, now you're talking about numbers, but at the same time, let's say, hey, you know what, this, no, and this is a broad stroke you just gave, a purposely broad stroke that knives are not a So I, I want to attack a movie theater, I want to attack a movie theater, and I have an 